thank you for being with us tonight. We begin with the strong words a Smith County constable had today for the county commissioner's court. Constable Josh Joplin's passionate comments follow what he says have been veiled threats from members of the court related to what constables should and should not be doing in Smith County. Speaking before the Smith County Commissioner's Court, Constable Josh Joplin made it very clear he does not wish to do the bare minimum when it comes to being a constable. We consistently get these threats. We consistently uh, are told that, you know, our statutory duty is to serve papers in bailiff court, and that's not true. That's one of the hats that we wear. The Precinct 4 constable says while some commissioners are supportive of his office's efforts beyond serving papers, Others are not. If they see us on a traffic stop, they want to know why we're, why we're stopping a car. If they see us putting somebody in jail or putting a wanted poster on our social media page, they want to know why we're doing that. And my answer to that is we're police officers. That's what we do. Joplin's reason for speaking today was an agenda item related to Texas government code. Code allowing the court to sign off on the appointment of deputy constables, something they haven't exercised in recent years. But Joplin feared the court would use it to cut back his force in retaliation. It's strictly procedural. It was procedural when we saw it and we knew we had to do it. This was kind of made into a bigger deal than it actually is. County Judge Neil Franklin says the motivation behind the item was in no way malicious and says the majority of the constables he spoke with had no problems with it. And the way he sees it, constables should be handling the work assigned to them first. We want them to make sure they're getting all their job done as bailiff and serving the papers. As long as they're getting all that done, and oftentimes when they're doing those other law enforcement jobs, it's because they're backing up the sheriff's office. It's not the commissioner's job to dictate what laws we enforce and what laws we don't enforce. And for them to use the fact that they hold the purse strings, and that's the quote that I've been given several times, for you to dangle that over my head, the only person that suffers from that is the public safety of the citizens of our county. Now, the agenda item that sparked this conversation was approved today without making any changes to the current number of constable deputies in Smith County. Judge Franklin says the item will likely become somewhat of a consent item agenda or agenda item that would.